The History Museum's second floor has gotten a massive makeover. I think the public's really going to love this space. It's something for us all to be proud of. It's something that, according to Executive Director Christy Scott, is vital to historic preservation. Having access to our history and our heritage is something that we all deserve. And I think it's our responsibility in this generation to make sure that generations going forward have the opportunity. A research center like this serves as a beacon for the whole region. Saturday marked the official opening of the Owen and Gail Robinson Research Center. It gives people access to Montana's past. Objects have a way of filling in gaps in the past, especially when paired with photographs and documents. Connected to the research center behind the glass behind me is a visible vault, which allows thousands of artifacts to be shown to the public, which would otherwise be stuck in storage. Visible storage isn't new to museums. It's an important way to house collections that let visitors interact more with the collections. So they're not just in the dark and on dusty shelves. With over 40,000 artifacts, Scott is excited for the opportunities the new research center and vault will provide. People will be able to come here and research their family history, their business history, write books, scripts for movies, students can be inspired, careers will be built in this building. Opening day tours showed members of the public art pieces, architectural drawings, war uniforms, and hundreds of other historic artifacts. We have one of the most expansive collections of architectural drawings in the Northwest. Everyone is excited about the new space, including former museum board member Marilyn Moore. I think it is absolutely marvelous, you know. We were just getting a start when I was on the board several years ago. I had been up to the third floor and it was certainly nothing like this and it's absolutely beautiful. I love the lighting. And she's excited about the potential it holds. Just a wonderful addition to the city and the community and for all the area for that matter. In Great Falls, I'm Tommy Lynch, MTN News.